We've got, a, we've got quite the race. Our final Winner's Quarters race between Mets and Slim. And for some reason, they decided, hey, we're gonna do level one King of the Datas, no cheese. No cheese, no, no Berserkori, no Pan, no double negative combo, none of that stuff. And, I, and mostly it's level one. Also, no second chance once more, I believe, is what they're agreeing on. So, this is even more cursed. It's a. Uh, this is gonna be very, very rough. Like, it's honestly, potentially, just going to be a uh, kind of hell. But it should be fine. We'll, um, we'll see how. Uh, we'll see how this goes. But, uh. I'm going to send these guys off to their doom. Should be a nice little fun time. Yeah, uh, the winner of this has to play VG next, and I don't know if they're gonna be able to swindle VG into doing a no, uh, no cheese or no gimmick kind of a uh, kind of run. So we'll see how this goes. And again, uh, it is level 1, the tracker does show levels for some reason, I'll have to take a peek into that and see if it's a tech issue or if it's actually intended. But, I did go through the spoiler alone, levels are confirmed dead. So that's uh, the biggest thing to, to keep in mind. Hope for those watching, it does not, uh, it does not bother you. Aside from that though, looks like they're all ready to go. Also, I did have some pity. I told them, okay, you guys can have level three uh, growth. So they'll, they won't be slugging through this at level one or slogging through this like painfully slow. It'll be relatively okay. The worst part is going to be really the data's. So we'll see how it goes. Yep, immediately puts on no XP. Oh, Matt, <laughs> or Slim, almost forgot. There we go. Wow, a Slide Nash in the GOA already? Okay, that's that's pretty good. Alright, two Keyblades. Obviously, this is level one, so depending on some racers, you could opt to do the Pride Land Star, you could opt to go, like, go somewhere else. You can, uh, can vary. Ooh, okay, that's not a good looking start for Met. Already taking a death. Alright, Slim playing this little patient. Wow, almost getting trolled by the party member, Goofy, I believe. Just the thing a little attacking. It also might have been a little bit of the slanted surface of this room. Let's we'll see if Met gets it this time. Okay, same situation for Met that Slim had. Just wait, bait the attack. Okay. It should be good. In terms of checks, we so far just found a blizzard. Honestly, you'll take any offensive magic. Now, it is level 1, so that, that magic damage is just gonna be quite abysmal. Now, potentially, uh, they are allowing themselves to equip accessories, and they potentially can find super strong keys and maybe some magic boosts, so maybe they'll be able to get through some of the more annoying first visits. Like, sort of faster. Because technically, for your some first visits, you'll be above the floor. Just uh, so far, a little map. Last thing I really noticed. The more Mega Elixir. Okay. Honestly, all these Elixirs and Mega Elixirs, if they find them, can be super powerful. A reminder for the hint system, we'll be using progression point sense. So it's basically the league point sense system. 
as well as progression hints. The only gimmick as well is that the shop only has visit unlocks, unlike in League, where there was synthesis, only shop is on. These racers don't have to worry about burning any synth items. Slim missing the chest. Happens to everyone. Alright. Nothing else here in Pride Lands. Alright, we get our first report. SPS of fire. Honestly, that's pretty okay info. say for a bit of uh, a bit of background for this race the ban order and the what they went off of so slim picked first or slim banned first so some opted to ban avian then Mets opting to ban path and yeats and then finally between the hit list and uh datas they ended up settling on datas now a little bit of a history is that Mets did do a play test seed because uh, I originally they actually didn't want to do hitless meant to a playtest seed and it didn't actually go that well it was uh like two and a half hours almost somewhere between that and three hours for a hitless seed at level one and uh, I kind of don't think that they wanted to do that met realized man this isn't really the play so they're like okay let's just do three datas so let's just do king of the datas instead of king of hitless So uh, a very respectable change, honestly, if you're trying to not stay for too long. And going off of uh, any checks we found, I didn't notice there was an XP boost in Halloween Town. So I'm just picking, or Met just picking it up right now. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, not useful. Just like a level one, this whole seed. Alright, we do get our first hint. STT is a 23. So 23 points of stuff there. Reports can be there. Everything can be there. Reports again, because we are following the league hint system. League points hint system as well. Uh, reports can only be in first visits. They cannot be in second visits. So you can uh, use a little bit of that math there. As soon as you push into a second visit. Or if you uh, know where a bunch of reports already are. We also did pick up a magnet in the workshop, I believe, or right outside in Candy Cane Lane. Nothing really of note in this OC push. Another Keyblade. I will say a Keyblade's probably was something that they'll take a peek at way later on the seed. At the beginning, it's kind of whatever if you look at them or not. Okay, I do like this from Slim. I'm going to push into TT. I think because of this level 3 growth, it's probably like the best case you'll get. The odds of finding that Glide or other aerial dodge are super, super low. Relatively speaking, so might as well just do it. I expect Mets will do the exact same. Oh hey, dodge roll. Okay, You're, you appreciate dodge roll max, especially if when you have to fight at least three datas. Okay, we get Stitch and the shotgun. That's appreciated. Okay, so Met is gonna opt to do the Rampart Shotgun. Get some magic boost. A report. An HP up. We'll take a peek at what that 
what that report says in a moment. And last thing for Slim here in Trium Common, just a Mithril Ring, nothing of notes. But for that report, BCS Pan. Honestly, not that good of a hint. It is a 5 off the table, so you are appreciative of that if you're trying to do the math. Aside from that though, Pan is essentially useless. They can't use Pan for cheesing fights, but they are allowed to use them for any other situation. And still technically has some viable uses. Okay, we get another set of reports. DCN's Baseball Charm. Honestly, that's also another 5 on table. So we have three summons already known. That's honestly pretty okay. Okay, Matt almost locking onto the, the wrong box. Ah, uh, yeah, her does. Forms do still gain levels, regardless of no XP. Okay, we are seeing a courtyard push from Met here. Wow, an aerial dodge. Okay, that was super early. That's really nice. Explosion. It's insane. Remember, this is slightly hard item placement, and those abilities are affected. So this is pretty lucky for them. Quite a, quite a good break. Okay, RC boost. That could be useful depending on the bosses. Now at this point, you can opt if you're met to go do TR. Be an okay push. You can opt to see if they get tinted later as well. Okay, and it seems like Met is going to be doing the mini escort. I'm going to be finding the same aerial dodge and the same explosion here. Uh, to answer your question, Silenza, I believe they're allowing it, but... I, I mean, it doesn't matter for the bosses. It only matters for early content. If they're allowing... Accessories, I believe they should be fine. Oh, never mind. Okay, I clarified. Or they did clarify in the race time that they're not going to use magic or strength boosts. I think it's a little interesting. I'd probably let that up. I'd probably say that would be alone because at the end of the day, you are going to be level one for like the 99 per the 90 percent of con the. Yeah, 90% of content, roughly, would be like level 1. Maybe, like, closer to 5%. Yeah, only AP boosts will be used this seed, so that's a good clarification. Alright, well, we'll get our next set of hints right about now. Or our next hints, rather. Okay, LOD is an 11. So, with this point in system, that does mean there's a guaranteed 5 there. Two reports and one five, you cannot do the math any other way. Split between threes, fives, sevens, and nines. Alright, we'll take a peek here at what's in the remainder of TR. So we'll get one more progression point from old Pete here. Ooh, Master Form. Okay, it's appreciated. They can opt to Force Final if they wanted. I don't believe that was disallowed in the cheese. But also at the same time, I feel like you're allowing... To, you're allowing yourself to Force Final in these kinds of situations. Okay, Matt taking huge advantage of the fact that you can Magnet Pete and he doesn't break out of that Magnet. It's a very strange property, but uh, 
Super chill fight. Didn't lose his drive, which is the biggest thing. Right. Last set of chests here. Still no sign of this chicken. Right. So that chicken will be a bit on the loose. I'm not going back for the final two chests. Ooh, unfortunately Slim taking one little hit. I'm just gonna lose time a bit here. Get another five off the table, torn page at the beginning of Agraba here. Another no XP. If they really wanted to equip it, they could. I will say, I wonder if, uh, I'm surprised no racer, I don't think, has checked the shop yet. Okay, unfortunately, because Aladdin did die, Met can't go into Master Form to break open the uh, the tent. Could have maybe used the Blizzard. Okay, it does use the Blizzard there in that instance. It's another page. Okay, that's another five off the table. You can do your hundred acre mini games potentially as well. That gets you two progression points if you do both. We might see one, might not see the second. Okay, Shadow Archive, another Magnet, so that's Magnera, super early in the seed. It's another report, and two sets of reports, okay. I believe the first report hints a fire in SP, second report hints a cure in 100 acre. Slim's is, Slim is already gambling that he's never going to find final early enough that it matters, so he's going to force final right away. So we'll see how long this takes. He started at about 1430... 1432 uh, loadless. Hopefully it doesn't take too incredibly long for him that he doesn't lose that much time. Yeah, Matt is going to opt to check 100 acre really quick. Gets a reflect right at the beginning. Another finishing plus and a star charm. Okay, that's a pretty amazing Poos house. Okay, we also did get a reveal for DC. DC is a 12. Technically, because DC is a full considered a first visit, it is either a 5, 7, or a 3, 9. That do the 12 does include auto mouth, which means that the chicken little that they have not received is taken out. So if you include chicken little, there's 17 points of stuff in reality. Alright, so far for Slim, not the best luck in terms of getting anti forms. What is this? Are you asking uh, if you can do level 1 Silenza for beginner?
Dang, okay, nothing in Rabbit's house. Okay, Matt is finally gonna go check Twilight Town. Should be a, like, a tiny bit faster technically because of the extra area dodge, but it's probably like so insignificant that it might not matter. Okay, Slib finally does get final form. Honestly, about two minutes to force final, not bad. Just over two minutes. Or like a 220, 215 maybe. We'll see if that uh the two minutes pays off. Oh, never mind. I did misinterpret the hint. The uh, hint said Pride Lands had a blizzard. We already had uh, gotten the reports for the fire and SP a bit ago. I am curious to see where Met goes. Because he doesn't have final form, he's not immediately going to probably do station fight. He could still do it anyway. Okay, off to just leave. I think it's a bit on the safe side. Okay, we will get a the World River was shotgun. From both racers, okay. Probably see Beast Castle next if I had to guess. Wow, money pouch is super early. Okay, that's gonna be super appreciated by both racers. Now they have to sort of do a little bit of money management, especially because you aren't gonna be killing things as fast. You gotta make sure that you are sort of ether conservative, or you're conscious about how much you're chucking uh, at ethers. Now they could opt to just not buy anything for the longest time. Okay, we are checking the shop. Sort of the Ancestor's Scimitar. I think that was both Pitcher and Ice Cream. And Proud Fang. Okay. Okay, I do like this from Slim. Slim is opting to get both. Uh, Flare Force is in the shop. It's actually just 100. Fantasia as well for 600. So that's super nice. Okay, Met opting to just spend all the money there and opts to buy both staves, or the staves. Okay, and Slim opting to not do the minigame. A slim, I think, passed over. Yeah, it's passed over like three different times. Okay, I do think I, I do like this play from Slim. So he did buy both picture and ice cream, same as Matt. So he'll go straight to the station fight. Maybe get some info out of this. They do have essentially identical tools. The only difference really is that Met at this point has just done 100 acre mini game over Met. Or sorry, over Slim. Slim has not done the mini game. Wow, that was fast. Slim already got to the hit count. Didn't even actually get final to level four. An air combo boost. It's pretty nice. Meanwhile, I don't think there was anything of note for Met there that I noticed. Okay, this Magnera at least will do uh, some nice work. Magnera Explosion. Wow, that was a pretty- that's a pretty good key, I just took a peek. 
And I believe that final key was 6-5 combo boost, so that's pretty insane. 7-7 seven, seven vicinity break as well. A lot of these keys are actually pretty okay. Okay, we do get identity disc off of the Bailey fight. And Mint will opt to just do the easy content of Beast Castle. Even though you are level 1, you're actually going to be somewhat above the floor, I believe. I'm not quite sure what the ceiling is. It might be like closer to like mid 20s. Can we ban Slim for using Modern World Leia? Unfortunately, no, I don't think that is a. That's not a bannable offense. I wonder if Slim is just gonna full send into TT3. Can do it, be nice. It's, uh, it's good progression points, would be good bulk points. We get one point for finishing this tower here, you will get two per fight. Now obviously the, the main issue is that you are doing these sets at level 1, so it won't be as fast, but you do have your big tool set, which is, wow, even better, we have Magnega. Now, that is sort of a blessing and a curse, Magnega is really good. But now it's Magnega. Uh, if you're trying to do Magna Explosion, that Magna, it's, uh, it's pretty tall, goes pretty high above Sora, so sometimes the explosion just won't hit. That is something to sort of keep in mind. While you can be happy about it, you're, depending on how your magnets are pointing or where they're landing, you may actually be uh, more upset about it than you think. Uh, as well, Slim does pick up Battlefields of War from top of tower. This should be a pretty quick Bailey fight though, comparably to Met. You can just sort of stand in the middle, chuck some magnets up in the air, as well as go for maybe blizzards, jump straight blizzards. But it should be fairly quick. It will be interesting to see how Met here handles this fight. And look at that damage, not the best, but is technically faster. It's not level 1 necessarily, in terms of your magic stat. Okay, does squeeze in one master level here. Fortunately, will lose his drive. Not the worst case scenario though. Pretty sure you might have a drive recovery lying around though. Alright. Pretty, pretty chill fight. Meanwhile, uh, Slim just having a field day. Getting a little bit owned by the slide dash. Opts to just throw an ether out. Okay, does it get through? I, I feel like that was faster. Oh, Matt breaking the box. Hurts my soul. That box did nothing wrong. Okay, another HP increase. Shock Charm Plus, that could be useful. It really depends now on if they actually find Thunders to take advantage of it. MP increase. Those are in, in enough amounts, those are always appreciated. Fire boost, that actually may be super, super important later on. In terms of squeezing out extra damage, that actually might be like pretty valuable. Both races will have it, so there's not going to be really any difference there. <laughs> Interesting. I always forget that you can just do Magnet Explosion on Beast here. Such a silly looking thing. 
poor beast floating around in the magma like that. Alright. Now we will get two worlds revealed at once here. So Pride Lands got revealed, it's dead. I believe we also had another world revealed. I'm trying to figure out which one that is. A little slow on that. Oh, SP got revealed. There we go. SP is on 11, so that means it is a guaranteed 5 and 2 3s as well. So two 11s on the board. It's very, very spooky. At least I have an entity disc, so if there is a 5 in SP, they will be okay. Now, again, this is King of the Datas, you have to fight three Datas, so... Larkseen? Level 1 Larkseen? You, you're like both okay with it, but also kinda, kinda, maybe potentially concerned. They do have Fantasia, so they can do the, uh, the big damage strat with that. At least, Met can, Slim, uh, I don't know how versed in that strat Slim is. Okay, very nice fight for Slim. He'll get those hints as well. I also did miss that. There is that proof in Beast Castle. I don't know how I missed that. That's crazy. Man, yeah, we do have Data Zaldin. Honestly, that's one of probably the Datas you're probably okay with. Like, you're going to be super fine with. It's definitely not a spooky. Most people do that fight. When you've, you've done these kinds of races, whether it's level 1 or crit, you've basically done level 1 Data Zaldin at some point. So unfortunately it's not this week, especially because you do have reaction boost. You have duck flare, so we might see them do some uh, duck flare loops. I don't believe that they mention anything about not using duck flare, so I'm pretty sure that is allowed by their own little rules. Would be interesting from them to point out where Duck Flare is located and then uh, not actually use it. So now at this point, I feel like maybe you can argue just doing, at least for Slim specifically, you can argue maybe just doing Dark Thorn right away. <laughs> Clips out of bounds a little bit. Very, uh, Interesting animation there. Alright, now will Met opt to do TT2 and or 3? Slim didn't, Slim opted to just do Baleen, considering that he just got that extra magnet. Okay, Slim will go back. I think you, I think you heard my words. Ooh, Matt was thinking about it. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and do screens and the rest of SP. I think that's totally fair. Mostly just because, one, there's a guaranteed 5 here. Two, you'll get a bunch of good bulk progression points. You'll get one point here. You get two points from Hustle Program. You also get two points from getting the two reports after beating Hustle Program. Again, the reports are first visit only. So you're guaranteed those reports. So that's already five progression points. From just going into SP. Okay, Slim finally getting through that fight. Okay, Stitch not being uh not being the best right now. Okay, finally does his job. And we'll 
we'll see Slim go back into TT3 immediately, get that bulk progression, or not bulk progression, bulk uh, chests. Alright, we get our reports. TT has a ukulele charm. Quite unfortunate of a hint. Slim does find a drive gauge up. Those are definitely super high value for these settings. If you're going to be level 1, forms will be your best form of maximizing damage. An item slot for Met. So far, nothing in this TT3 for Slim. Another item boost in MP Rage. Item boost from Met, definitely more useful. Not item boost, item slot up. Alright, well, hopefully Mansion does have something useful. We'll see. Meanwhile, Met is going to hostile program. Again, really good progression points. Hoss program just dies here. Probably does. Don't see world where he doesn't. He's so close. Please die. All right. Very nice. And we get our two next set of hints. Hundred Acre as well as Beast Castle. So Beast Castle is confirmed dead now. Won't have a second proof. Same with Hundred Acre. So they don't have to do any more torn pages. Meanwhile, they get a report for STT. STT is a 16. So with that. Now you're, uh, you're a little scared about SCT being a potential 3355. Something that has to sort of sit in the back of your head. Whether you want to believe that or not. Slim also getting those next two world reveals after finishing the mansion fight. Okay, a form boost in the mansion. It's nice. And final form. That's a quite a silly location. That's good. Uh, that's potentially maybe good for Met. He doesn't have to force it. Another drive gauge up. So that'll be seven drawing total that we've seen so far. Or sorry, two total. They'll have seven. Reaction boost, okay, for a day dissolved in, eventual day dissolved in, that's gonna be really nice. Let's squeeze out even more damage. Okay, Slim will opt to... Oh, okay, I think he thought he did the minigame, which is why he went back to pages and realized, oh, I never did it. I think he was thinking about shotgunning it. Okay, he will go back to Timeless River now. That's a fair choice. I like it. He does a 12. So, at worst, it's a 3-9, I think. Um, that 9 could potentially be your Beast Claw. You'll get another report. Best case scenario, it is another 5, so you'll know. Or it is a proof, so maybe I'll have to do uh, Data Marley. Ooh, Auto Wisdom. Okay. I think potentially choose the level that. We'll see. It is kind of. This is probably maybe the best location to potentially level that. I don't think I've seen any other auto forms. I know they have auto limit, but I don't know if they'll be leveling that. I don't think they even equipped it. I believe it was uh, something they started with. 
Alright, so that also will go to the mansion. We'll see how well this handles for him. Seems like he's gonna opt to go for Stitch. So we saw Slim go for final. I think Met going for Stitch might be a little bit more on the conservative side in terms of manage MP management. Sorry, not MP management. Drive management. Ooh, okay, Magnum or Lagoof. Alright, just waiting for Stitch to, to do his job. Okay, so Slim does get the baseball charm off of the end of windows. Okay, I think Met might be able to squeeze out a final form. Okay, goes for Stitch again. Hopefully, we'll get an MP re refill. Alright, very nice. We also get two more reveals. Dry Forms is a 15, and Agrabah is a 5, so that's another set of 5s. And I believe that 15 is guaranteed 3 fives. Again, with reports at the first visit, uh, drives technically drives levels 100 acre technically don't have first visits. So that 15 is guaranteed 3 fives. So now they have to now they have to consider leveling forms, potentially chasing after any nines. Meanwhile, that uh, Agrabah hint is also another 5, so we have a 5 in LOD, a 5 in SP, uh, SP2 specifically, 3 fives on drives, 1 5, now confirmed by Slim in Timeless River. He'll get that hint for drives fairly soon, I believe. Then the 5 in Agrabah, so that's a lot of 5s on the table. Alright, I think Slim, or sorry, Met might be losing his drive gauge here. Yeah, he does. Does get the, what is it, the reaction boost right in that last chest. Now Slim is guaranteed the 5 here for these settings. Uh, AS fights and datas, all super bosses, are guaranteed to not have any important checks. Alright, another drive gauge up, so that's super nice for Slim here. Met opting to go after the 11 here in LOD. Oh, it is a proof off of Future P, and now we have a guaranteed Marley. So we have to do Marley twice, AS Marley and Data Marley. And the, it's, a, it's the same mechanic for both, the Doom counter. So they have to do those heights perfectly, they can't get hit once for both times. So it's a uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see how that goes. Mind you, they are still missing Beast's Claw. And so far the, the hints coming out don't really seem to be in favor of revealing potentially where it could maybe be. I do like Slim's choice here to go after OC. It is unhinted, so maybe it'll just have a lot of uh, bulk points. Meanwhile, Matt about to finish here. Hmm. 
Ooh, I'm surprised that uh, Slim was not opting to go for a another uh, explosion there while in the duck flare. I feel like it might have potentially been able to kill. Now this is a little scary for Slim. Okay, it does get rid of the last two enemies here. Should be good. Yeah, very nice. Okay, while Slim glides up to Cerberus, we'll see how Met is doing here on Mountain Trail, what he finds. There's four chests here, one pop-up. Flash step, that's really good. Let's report PR's Valor form. That potentially could be useful info for these guys if Forms has a has a proof on it. Right, nothing quite there in the the cave. Ooh, okay, Slim does take a death. Now you can opt to use Mickey. We'll see what he does here. Okay, does go for it. Gonna go for the pearl damage, and then we'll see how long a death abuse takes. Or if you're just gonna go for the the refill. Okay, he is. This actually is pretty quick. Okay. Now hopefully he doesn't get frame trapped here. Meanwhile, Metz is done with the cave fight. Okay, Slim does get the headshot. Very nice. Okay, we do get a report. And Acrobat has pages, so unfortunately not a new or useful report. It's quite unfortunate. Reminder as well that for these settings, skips are disabled. You cannot do core skip, you cannot do Shandu skip. So these guys will have to do this on uh, the segment legit. Yo, call me. Thanks for the raid. Much appreciated. Welcome on, everyone. You're, uh, you're here just in time for the scary part of the seed. My god, look at all this money that he's getting dropped by Met. It's honestly a decent amount. Hopefully he'll be able to actually uh, get enough that matters. Meanwhile for Slim, doesn't seem like there's much here in OC quite yet. For those, uh, for those coming on in, this is, uh, we're seeing our racers here do a level 1 race where they need to find 3 proofs and then beat the datas of the world where those proofs are. Wow, very nice for Slim. Does get the unhinted beast claw, so now he has access to data Zaldin. So we have a guaranteed AS slash data Marlin, we have to do both. We have a guaranteed data Zaldin on the table. We just need to find one more data. Wow, Hori Slash also. Super, super clutch. Yeah, what a great hand creation size ice cream. Hams, everyone. Alright, so we'll see how long this uh, early OC choice actually uh, impacts things. Potentially, I might not. Especially at level 1, it's probably not, like, the most insane thing to do this early. Yeah, also as those for coming in. This is a cheeseless uh, level 1 race between these guys, so no Berserk Hori, no double negative combo. They will be using a lot of Duck Flare, a lot of Fantasia, depending on the circumstances.
Uh, no pan as well. Okay, an accessory slot. We get levels hinted. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling levels get hinted. That's a interesting bug. We also did get Halloween Town revealed. Halloween Town is a seven, or has seven points remaining after the uh, initial push into that visit, or into the uh, Candy Cane Lane. Okay, Met is gonna opt to buy Sword of the Ancestor and check this second visit. Forgot to reset story flags. This Riku damage already literally over half your health gone from just one attack. Riku is definitely one of the more scary fights of this visit. That super armor, his uh, teleport slide dashes, whatever you want to call those moves. And if this, uh, if they did not have that reflect from the one of, or sorry, from uh, the Hundred Acre shotgun. This definitely would be really, really much worse. Alright, so far a super clean looking fight. I have Berserk Charge. Unfortunately, uh, they won't be really using that. Okay, this might be a kill. Uh, potentially a freak who just moves forward. Oh, this is so no you're so close. Okay, finally Met gets the kill off of Riku. Riku kinda uh, kinda being a little annoying there at the very end. Slim finally makes it through that fight. I will say, in terms of uh, knowing things, I think Matt might have potentially might be in a potentially better spot. But also, you have to consider that Slim does have. Wow, he missed adjust. It's funny. Uh, Slim already does have B squad, so that is a big advantage in his position currently. It really does depend where this last proof is. Okay, Slim's gonna opt to go to SP. Interesting choice. I probably I'm a little surprised he didn't want to do Zaldin. That'd be three progression points. You also get the uh, the last seven. That could be a useful magic, could be money pouch. Ooh, okay, unfortunate for Met, the 5 in LOD is just a torn page. Let's see where he opts to go next. Is he gonna do OC now? I think he is, alright. So, assuming he does the full visit, he will also get the Beast Claw as well. We'll also get Horn Slash, so we'll probably see him go straight for Beast Castle right after he gets both of those. I feel like he might not even do the, the Pete fight, we'll just go right after Demix straight to Beast Castle potentially. Ok, 
Okay, very understandable from Slim. Going straight to Hostile Program, we'll get that last report. We'll also get the other two progression points from doing the fight. And okay, there should be a kill from those guys. Okay, very nice for Met as well. Oh, interesting. Are these guys opting to not even equip for a slash? A little surprised I'm not seeing it from Slim here. Maybe you just uh, didn't put it on, or didn't equip it, rather. Okay, that's a little scary. That does almost half your health, so he would have lived a second hit. And unfortunately, Slim did use the RC right now, so he will not have all those clusters. He'll have to regain them back, so he's now in final phase of the fight. Oh wow, Donald lived? That's surprising. Okay, he's gonna try to wait out a long attack. Okay, he goes for the Duck Flare here. The Mega Duck Flare. This might be a kill? Oh, he's so close. Alright, finally gets the kill. Mets also gets the kill off service, doesn't get Nikki'd. We'll save a little bit of time there. Okay, Slim now opting to go after the 11 and LOD as well. Now he should know, or should remember, he did check. I should remember that the Sword of the Ancestor is also in the shop, so he might buy it there too. So assuming that these racers basically go to the spots you expect them to stop, there's gonna essentially be no real difference between them. Alright, there's the drive gauge up for Slim, so we will be at max drive. Honestly, that's probably like one of the biggest things going with these guys. You got item slot ups. You got all your, your, your drive gauge ups. You have Duck Flare Fantasia as well. Alright, Met getting to the bulk chests now. Gets his beast claw, so now I'll be able to go to Beast Castle 2. I probably expect that he'll go straight there and also do Zaldin, something that Slim didn't opt to do. Oh, that one shadow for Slim. Somehow found the time to sneak back into the ground. Okay, I have that one shadow there just floating on top of the tent like that. <laughs> that is a, that's a very uh, interesting position for that to end up at. Okay, Met is gonna keep going. I will say, kind of crazy to think that there's still been no thunders found for for Met. Slim does have the thunder from DC. Ooh, unfortunate for Matt. Couldn't get that finishing blow. 
just uh, just a little bit off in terms of uh, that attack pattern. All right, is he gonna do Hydra? I feel like there's zero reason to. Okay, he is. Okay, so I think for this Hydra fight, Matt's probably gonna be looking into using Duck Flare quite a bit. You don't really have thunder. You don't have thunder. I don't, you, have tr you don't have Trinity Limit. So your main source of damage really is just gonna be this duck flare on the head. <laughs> Meanwhile, for Slim, Slim in K fight is finally is about to be on through. All right, doesn't get anything from that. We do, however, have our next set of world reveals. Uh, HP is a 53. That's, uh... That's a little concerning. OC also is a 0. Man, that's gonna be unfortunate for Met. Uh... So... For Met specifically, he's gonna find out it's dead as he's beating this fight. So that's kind of... that's kind of annoying. <laughs> So if that 53 does have your, uh, your membership card, or not membership card, your proof, you have to find a membership card, and that might mean maybe an STT visit. That 16 could be a 5-9, or sorry, not 5-9, uh, 7-9. Yep. And there's the hint for Met. Met knows OC's dead and HP is the uh, super stacked. Okay, so he goes for DC now. Goes after the 12. Again, he's maybe thinking the same thing, potentially, that Slim had. That, at best, it is a 5-7. At worst, it's a 3-9, and you know where your membership card potentially could be. I will say, actually, the, at, the real at worst scenario is it's a torn page and uh, a cure. In reality, that'd probably be the worst, the more worst scenario for what DCTR could have been. Thankfully, it's not, so this would be good for Met. He'll also be happy to know that uh, he gets to do Marley. It's uh, maybe a little bit of redemption. He tried to do some super fast uh, Marley strats in one race, and unfortunately, it did kind of uh, did kind of backfire or didn't go out the way he wanted. So maybe this time he'll get that redemption, and we'll get to have a super quick Marley fight the way he wants. Gets his chicken. Now gets to worry about what this 12 could be now. Okay, unfortunate for Slim. Just quite a bit far away. This might be the kill. Just needs to make sure he gets the Mega Duck Flare. Okay, goes for it a little bit there. It was a little interesting choice, but does still get the kill though. Now let's see if Slim remembers that the Sword of the Ancestor is in the shop. Oh, he's gonna go for Agrabah, okay. I like this choice. Go after one of the guaranteed fives. I wonder if Slim did potentially forget that it's in the shop.
Okay, I feel like this choice to use Speedster wasn't uh, wasn't quite intentional. Okay, there's the Duck Flare. Yeah, I think it might have been a, a misinput. Or didn't realize that Speedster was uh, gonna show up there. Gonna throw the Elixir, go back into Duck Flare. Unfortunately, that is, a, that is an Elixir gone. You have to do some data fights, you kinda want those. Now, thankfully, you have Marley on the table, so you don't really need Elixirs for that, arguably, if you wanted to be a bit more basic in terms of strats. Alright, Met's final drive gauge up, so he'll be finally at 9. He'll also get that proof, so we'll see what he does. You could opt to do Marley, potentially, and get those progression points. Again, this is level 1, so there's no real argumentative reason to not put it off unless you uh, have better tools. Okay, Met's also gonna go do Agrabah. Okay, so these guys are still almost basically even. Like, they've made basically identical choices, just in like, slightly different orders. The only thing, I guess, different is that... Slim has done... Beast Castle 2. Met hasn't, but Met has done LOD 2. Okay. <laughs> oh, and it's a torn page. There were three torn pages just in Agrippa. That's brutal. That's brutal. Oh no. That's the consolation prize in the chest. A reaction boost. Okay, that's the third reaction boost. Honestly, that's pretty okay. That's pretty okay. Now, you do get to just leave. I wonder if Slim... Maybe you won't realize where the answer is in the shop. He's, he's looking around. Okay, I'll go to B. So I'll go to SP2. That's fair. Okay, Met also getting a storm page. If you're, uh, if you're a fan of chaos for this SP visit, you kind of want this. Uh, you kind of want this five to be on MCP. Uh, level one MCP, even though it's technically nerfed in this game or nerfed in Rando specifically, uh, it's still a spooky fight. Ooh, okay. Met is also gonna go do SP right away. Changing his mind. Okay, offs to buy seven elixirs right away. Is he just gonna go straight for a data fight? No, okay. Just decides to buy the elixirs. Now, this is a little scary for Slim here. Offs to revert and go straight to Duck Flare. I think it's a bit on the safer sign. You can just spam the triangle button for a bit. Should save you a bit of time. Now, unfortunately, he is essentially he is essentially one HP. Okay, does opt to use? I believe that was a mega elixir. Might have, actually, that might have been a regular elixir. Okay, does get the kill. Now we get to do level one solar sailor. Level one solar sailor is uh, quite an interesting uh, fight. Again, just because you can't really kill things as fast, you're level 1. It's gonna be quite spooky. You don't really have good tools necessarily to speed it up. You do have the Duck Flare, but I think maybe we'll see a bit of a summons come out, potentially. Okay, 
go. So duck flare for now. This will be used to build at least drive gauge back. Okay, straight into final is gonna do a lot of uh, magnet glides. Some good damage. Alright, so this is, uh, this is an unfortunate aspect of where you can see Magnega not being as useful. So a lot of the enemies will just be way too high up above the explosion to actually get hit. You'll see it's just slowly progressively getting higher and higher. So if it was Magnera, he'd probably be going through this fight way faster. Just a unfortunate position. Alright, another drive gauge increase off of Solo Sailor. Unfortunately, you cannot go past 9 drive gauge, so it's quite useless. See if this 5 is here. It's once more. Now, they are actually barring themselves from equipping second chance and once more. So unfortunately, that is a dead 5. We do get our next set of hints as well. Uh, 39 the world never was. That's quite a spooky amount. It's definitely uh, something you did not want to see. I believe uh, TT also got revealed. TT is now dead. So uh, you got two pretty pretty big worlds. You got a 39 in the one of was 53 and then and a hollow bastion two that you have no access to. So far, a clean looking fight from Slim. Now again, oddly enough, we don't have any uh, forms to fall back on necessarily for solo fights. Okay, does get the guard, doesn't get hit, doesn't get clipped by a laser. Okay, Met does get the exact same hints now. We'll get that once more, unfortunately. I will say, because of this, you are going to miss out on that fire from SP. Yeah, also goes straight there. Puts on the double reaction boost on Met's side. Okay, skill and crossbones, not the nine you want to see. You're looking for either your forms or you're looking for a membership card. And we'll say PR is the last to be revealed, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, Matt's gonna be doing a bit of Fast and Furious strats here. Knows his RV, knows that Roxas will go for an immediate ground retaliation after that second hit there. The hits are semi-intentional. You're okay with getting hits as long as you get hit specifically towards one of those last set of hits from Roxas. Because you can just go into an air recovery, into a reflect. Okay, I don't think this kills from Met's side. Okay, this should kill. Okay. A significantly faster fight from Met. We'll save some time and catch up on some of it here real time. In terms of load lists, they're actually like a second apart. They're wait no, look at load type. Uh they're about eight seconds apart, seven, eight seconds apart, load lists. And 
again, this is considering that some part, uh, a little amount of BC has been done by Slim, LOD has been checked by Met, so there's a little bit of differences there. I'm still a little surprised that Met just hasn't opted to do BC2. Man, so, uh, Slim did end up going into the M phase here. So this will be quite a bit of a time loss. Okay, unfortunately, Zigbar doesn't walk, so this duck player kind of won't be too insane. Oh, gets a catch here. Never mind. Okay, this does work out. Now Slim might be able to get the kill here. Oh, okay. This is potentially good for Slim. He can just move a little bit, get the RC. Okay, finally does get the RC. Interesting magnet option. <laughs> now he needs Zigbar to walk. Who gets the walk, and that's the death. What? Oh my god. <laughs> it's slim. It's scary me with the, the dropped input there. Does squeeze out the kill. Very nice. Alright, and there's the membership card. So there is 14 points. That still could be a 9-5. I believe one visit unlock might still be a stray. Technically our forms also could be a stray. Or are still a stray. Ah, uh, Met's also getting DM'd as well. Okay, hey, Met's gonna build some drive back here. Fortunately, that's not really the reason why. This might as well. Goes for the duck player out of the DM, gets the kill. Alright, time to see what's in this HB2. I wonder if Met opts to finish the rest of the one whenever it was. I feel like it's maybe, like, you could risk it. Potentially see if that 5 is here. It might just be a 7-7. Seven, seven. You're missing a lot of magic, so maybe not. Okay, they both go. Alright, time to get into our bulk chest. We find the Aquamarine Ring. Can. It's only the first three chests, we'll get another four checks here, in corridors. Alright, corridors quite empty. Let's we'll see where these uh, chests here. Reminder that core skip is disabled. Okay, so Slim did miss that chest. I think he'll pick it up right now. Okay, gets a damage control. Nothing too important. Combo plus potentially useful. Potentially, I'm not sure if uh, any of the two current datas will take advantage of that. And we will go straight to the quarters fight. Should be, should be fairly on the easy side. All right. Wow. I was able to actually build up back to. Uh, Nice to drive him out. Goes straight into final form during the quarters fight here. Alright, we'll see. Okay, Met also does the same. We'll get to see what's in core now. Also get to see how Met handles this fight. 
Limit form, okay. Again, there's 15 on drive, so any form is useful. An other XP boost, okay. It's unfortunately uh, not be useful. The last drive gauge up, that's also not going to be useful. Can't go past 9. There was at one point uh, a GOA update, or rather a miss update maybe, a bug, where you can go past 9 drive. Ooh, okay, Slim's just gonna go straight away for the fights. I'm a fan. here. Okay, and he's- oh, doesn't get the Necromancer in time. Okay, is finally get the hit on it. Is making sure he's taking good care of managing his MP as well. Okay, the Necromancer does get caught that time. Out of MP, so he needs to find time to chuck ethers. Necromancer finally caught again. I think that's probably the more annoying enemy for sure. Cars you can sort of deal with. Okay, and goes for some duck flare uh, triangle spams here, as well as some ground combos, and this should be enough to get the kill. Oh wow, there's the proof! Met gets it off of leveling, it's on Master 5, so the ruling for those who do not know is that if there is a proof on drives, levels, and or 100 acre, you can pick any data of your choosing. Three unique datas must be picked, so now this is, this is go mode for Met. He just has to figure out what's the third data you do. It's probably just gonna be potentially data axle. That's like the freebie one. You could opt to see funky stuff. Okay, Slam unfortunately does take a death in corridors and the the uh, first fight here of core. Wow, it's just on Master Five. Okay, so it's honestly not that bad. So you did need to go find another form. Final was maybe soft required in terms of that being one of the easier forms to access. Yeah, Matt's just in Gumbo right now. Just gonna do some content clearing. Yeah, I feel like you really are just I don't know, maybe you could do Arxene, like m maybe Met might feel Arxene. I think maybe the optimal choice probably is just Axel t or Data Axel, but uh, these players uh, can freely choose kind of what they want to do. They're kind of playing by their own rules, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, another death for Slim! I'm not gonna lie, I kinda, kinda wish Slim would, uh, would try a little bit of chicken, maybe? Chicken, negative combo, explosion. That might be a little bit better. Hopefully Slim doesn't take any more deaths here. Those have been kind of costly. He's uh, slowly falling way behind. Also, I feel like uh, potentially the amount of items Slim's been going through has also been uh, really fall behind. He has a lot of item slots. I believe they have either six or seven total. And seeing the amount of ethers just currently equipped is kind of a sign that they're just blowing through all those ethers. Oh, unfortunately, I think that was a fireball. Straight ghost fireball. Okay, ops to leave. I think he realizes he's losing too much time now. Super unfortunate.
Okay, Slim does get through the dancers fight. Met about to go on to Zig or onto uh, Zaldan here, regular Zaldan. Okay, I like Met. Opting to get rid of a tornado fusion. Make sure that you can have easy access to Duck Flare. Okay, party members immediately dying, so uh, no Duck Flare here. Okay, he can go into final form potentially, that way he can get a free MP refill. Yeah, okay, does do so. Gonna try to go for an area dodge parry, does get it, unfortunately does get hit at the same time and his party members also die. Oh, he's gonna summon Stitch here. Hopefully Stitch will... Oh, he does get... Never mind. He already got an MP refill. Okay, going for some more staggers. Gonna go for Duck Flare out of this as well. Meanwhile, Slim is going into LED2. Fortunately, we'll make the same mistake that Met made earlier. Being wrong, that is a 5. Okay, jumps from Zaldan. Okay, we'll duck flare out of this, and this should be the kill. Now this is only as Zaldan, or Rick, not as regular Zaldan. Wonder what uh, what Matt will opt to do here. Do you go straight for the data fight? I think he's gonna probably prep for that. I guess a reflect off of that as well. That probably might have been useful for some things. Hard to really say. Maybe before the that rule never was Roxas fight, that would have been nice. Okay, he is just gonna go straight for straight for Data Zaldan. Reminder that this is essentially like what is it? Three RC boosts, so it's gonna be like significantly faster than just base level one damage. I believe you'll be doing what is it? It's 50% additive per RC damage, so like 150%. All right. Time to see how this strat goes for Met. Okay, starts off with Duck Flare. Ooh, okay, unfortunately doesn't stun him enough. Takes him to be dead death. Again, they are barring themselves from equipping once more. Okay, he's just gonna go for the Duck Flare strat here. Reminder that it's pretty input heavy. Oh, unfortunately, he just gets destroyed by his Salmon. Salmon can uh, sometimes just do that. Especially with the, the windshield causing a bunch of damage. Can't really do much about that. Okay, is able to squeeze out the Mega Duck Flare during those finishes. Should still be okay damage. Still stunned for now, does break out. And is getting jumps, so needs to be a little bit aware of that. Okay, time to see how much damage these jumps do. Yeah. Okay, jumps do like 30%. 
Uh, maybe like 30% or 25%. Meanwhile, uh, we do see Slim is going into SDT. Okay, so now this is DM phase for, for Met. He's gonna try to keep Zigbar, or sorry, Zaldin stunned here. So he messes up that timing, so off to play it safe and just stall out and wait for the pattern. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we'll get DM'd here. He might have... Okay, he's gonna summon Stitch. Okay, I like this. He's gonna summon Stitch to get that MP refill. That way he doesn't have to use an elixir if he can. He also is out of items, actually. So, if he wants to do any kind of uh, DM looping here, he has to have summon Stitch. So we'll see if he's nice. Oh, he's gonna try to bait out jumps. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Oh, it gets BDD DM test run! Oh, super unfortunate that he reeled back like that. Reminder that if Zaldin windshields, that you if they dissolve specifically windshields, you cannot kill him until you use a jump to dispel the windshield. So you'll see Zaldin do a windshield here, so he's technically unkillable until you dispel it by doing getting jumps. Okay, this should be fine. Just needs to play it safe, goes for reflect into a jump, and that is the first data down. Well, very nice. First try. You're, uh, you're pretty happy about that. Ooh, okay. Where is, uh, where is he going? Is he gonna really try to go for this? No way. Is he on his way to Larkseen? No shot, right? Okay, is gonna go take- he's gonna take the easy route. We'll go straight to Axel 2, or Data Axel. Who knows ST, yeah. So again, this uh, 16 and STT could be a 3-3 or a... What is it? 3-3, 5-5, or a 7-9. I believe, actually, if I'm looking at this right, it is a guaranteed 3-3, 5-5 because there's no other places for the reports to be. Unless all three reports actually are in the world never was. That is technically a possibility. This place could be a 9-7. That'd be kind of gross if the world of this is just three reports. The last three exact reports. Actually, yeah. Um, if you do the math, if you put three, if you put reports here, actually, SDT is either three reports and a five, or three reports and a seven, or just a regular, or not, a different nine seven. One world between here and SCT has guaranteed all three reports between SCT and the one of was, which is kind of silly. Uh, Slim picks up the last glide off of Twilight Thorn. Unfortunately, I don't think that glide actually will matter. Like, I, I have zero belief that that's going to impact anything. But let's get another finishing plus, so that's okay. But uh, again, because Met is just in go mode, I, I think it's uh, it's over. Slim would have to be at his like first data by now to potentially catch up. Unfortunate for Met, gets clipped on his heel by Axel there. So there's many different ways you can do this fight. 
and I think uh, Met might be trying to go for the Blizzard, if I'm not mistaken. But you can just do uh, you can do Thunder Explosion Loops to uh, force wall retaliations. That's uh, the easy way out. Is he gonna go for that right now? I think he might. Okay, gets wall retaliation. Okay, he is going to go for some blizzards. As long as the explosion does hit, then he's all good. That's uh, the big takeaway. So Slim does find the 7 here. It is a blizzard. He is gonna keep going. That's fair. Again, if you are thinking that it is on drives, this 9 could be a drive form. Gets the hinted cure. Oh, it is three reports here in SDT. Okay, Slim will get the last two chests, hoping maybe get some better info. Fortunately, finds that hint and she has a fire. Not really the most useful hint at this point in time. Yeah, that means uh, the last nine, one of the nines, is guaranteed in the whatever was. Okay, he will go back to HB, check core out. Met is done with Data Axel. One final data to go, except he first has to go through AS Marley. So I got both AS and Data Marley to go. So two more super bosses, and again, it is Marley, it is level one. One hit, and you're dead. So these fights have to go essentially perfect. Essentially first try. Alright, we'll see how Matt handles this fight. I go for the duck flare a bit early. Or it's rather early into the fight. Okay, he's gonna try to go for oh mistimes the attack. I think he was trying to see if he can get a, a flash step out. Okay, Met is trying his hardest. There we go. Finally gets the ground retaliation. Goes for all that damage. Needs to be a little mindful of that. Okay, now in DM phase. Okay, he does get the scythe, the, the grounded scythe spins. Oh, he wasn't paying attention and wasn't ready for that. Gets clipped at the very, almost about halfway through that DM. Yeah, he kind of, I, he sort of self frame trapped himself by uh, doing one glide a little bit early and also moving towards the center of the room. Made a little bit difficult, especially if uh, you didn't move the camera. Makes it hard to see where Marley is going. Okay, another maybe miss time potentially. I think he might have done that on purpose. Okay, trying to force out a ground retaliation. 
opts to just do grounded reflex in the pools to get additional damage in. Okay, needs to dodge that successfully. Very nice. Man, poor Slim in the bottom right here, taking uh, quite a few extra deaths than probably intended. Okay, this is actually really nice for Met here. Is still in the middle phase here. Now, unfortunately, won't be able to get anything extra here. We'll go straight to DM. Okay, back to the grounded side spins. Okay, opting to lock on this time to make sure that he's uh, able to watch where Marley's going. Oh, okay, and another DM right after wasn't quite prepared to go to the other side of the room. Hopefully Donald lives here, so we can go for the duck flare right away. And we could go for maybe final form. Okay, I think he's opting to play it safe, it seems. Now reminder, this is only this is only regular Marley. He still has to do the data fight after. Now he's probably gonna be more more uh, acquainted with the data fight, potentially. Okay, plays this one safe as well. my kill, let Marley hit the ground, and then go for the Mega Duck Flare. Alright. First Marley fight down, needs to do one more. I will say Slim finally does get through the core fight. Unfortunately, I think, uh... I don't think he can <laughs> recover from this again unless Met absolutely like crumples at Data Marley. Absolutely just doesn't uh, get any strategy he wants to do right. Uh, I think this might be over. Ah, uh, this is definitely over. <laughs> unless that happens. Oh, hey, Light and Dark. Damn, this core is, uh, there's a reflex. 21. It's looking like three magics. And another death for Slim. Alright, we'll see how... This final data goes, let's go Goofy, the shield parry. Okay, unfortunately I don't think he was uh, quite expecting that uh, the immediate second phase or teleports to the middle. We'll just go for the Mega Duck Flare here. Gonna try to squeeze in the slide dash, a lot of RV, so we're immediately gonna get that retaliation. Mindful of that one. It's gonna try to squeeze in a flash step, very nice. Okay, couldn't really do anything about that one. Flash step is the only option. A slide dash will not reach Marley in time in that instance. Oh, obstacle for Stitch. Okay, I like the thought process behind this. Get your party members back, get your MP refilled. Okay, this is now DM phase. Okay, I was getting the long DM, not the grounded scythe. Or the, the grounded spin attack. So at this point, you're just, uh, you're in the, in the loop. Slim is finally done with that core fight. Nah, since Met's just in uh, in this DM loop, he's probably not gonna die. We'll see what Slim picks up here. 
I had to guess, it seems like it just might be three magics. There are the... Um, one nine might be here. I believe we're still missing where that could be. But I think that is GG's. Wow. Okay, it was a nine. <laughs> Wisdom form. But honestly, wow, big GG's. Congrats to, uh, congrats to Met. Honestly, that was, uh, that was pretty weird of a seed. Pretty weird. Super highly stacked worlds, all day. It was really just as easy as Master 5. Yeah, there's a money patch. Wow, there's a guaranteed 5 here <laughs> as well. So these guys almost made essentially the same choices for like the longest time. It literally just came down to I chose the level master one extra time. And my opponent didn't. But that'll be the match. Congrats to Met for moving on. All our top seeds not getting upset. We will now have our guaranteed match of VG versus Met in Winter Semis, and then the other Winter Semis match being Sonic versus Ragnoth. That'll be exciting to see. Meanwhile, the losers we got Ragna versus Slim, the um, the friend team kill of sorts, and then on the other side of losers will be Jalon versus Ninten. So this is already a um, pretty snack bracket. Reminder that for Winter Semis, they get to do a best of three. First to two, best of three, whichever way you want to look at it. That should be super exciting to see. But yeah, what a, what a race. What a race.